Okay, so one of the topics I'm gonna talk about today is how to keep from burning out when you are doing your thing. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna give you some great advice on what to do to keep yourself passionate about what you're doing. Okay, so burnout is something that I think we're all um, accustomed to feeling from time to time or afraid of putting ourselves in a position of feeling, depending on who you are and where you're at in your business. And there are some things that I think are important to do to keep yourself from burning out because we get into being an entrepreneur and we feel like we have to do everything. We feel like we have to carry all the loads. We feel like we have to have all the fears, right? And that is something that can really tear us down as individuals. It can weigh on us and it can really put us in a position of doubt and even depression at times. It's important that you start with a plan. It's important that you start your business with a plan so you don't go down that dark road, right? You you know where you want to go, you know where you want to end up, you know, have an idea of how you want to get there. That's step number one. Step number two is to give yourself permission to take a break. Give yourself permission during that journey, during the fight, the battle, right? The, the, the battle we all do as entrepreneurs. It's important to give yourself permission to take a break. Even though we're usually doing something we love to do, like I love real estate investing. It's still important for me to take time with my family, to go camping, to go sit at the ocean, to go to Disneyland and enjoy myself. It's still important for me to find things outside of my organization that are fun to do. At times, we can feel like that's not okay. I know for myself personally, I went through a long stretch where I felt like if I took a half day and went to the gym, or I went home and decided to take a nap in the afternoon, that I was doing something wrong. So I had to find a place where I gave myself permission to take that time, that I knew that that wasn't something that was going to destroy my business, that that wasn't lazy per se, right? So give yourself permission to take a break and take it easy from time to time. It's also important to make sure that you keep work fun, that you keep it something that, it's, that you wanna do, and that you recognize when there's points where you've outgrown what you can do yourself. So, for instance, there was a moment in my real estate investing career where I hadn't quite hired my team, and I was late to pick up my son, and I was late to meet a contractor, and I was late to get back to my office to finish doing what I had to do with invoices and writing checks so I could submit to reimbursements for my investors. If I didn't get that money in the bank, I was not gonna have that money that week to pay anybody. And I remember closing my, my truck door and just kind of looking at the house across the street and just thinking to myself that this sucks that I hate this, why am I even doing this? You know, I can't get anything right, I can't do anything right, I can't be anywhere right, um, why am I even doing this? And it was in that moment that I decided to start building a team around me and my business, to start putting the right people in place to take some of that load off. I gave myself permission to do that. And when I did that, when I gave myself permission to take time off, when I gave myself permission to find joy in my day-to-day -day activities, when I gave myself permission to start building the team to take some of the pressure off, my business actually grew tenfold. And it's amazing to see that happen. And I wanna share that with you because you know, you get, you just get in this prison in your head and it's important that you make the decision to not go there and if you're there to make, make the decision not to stay there. So keep it clean, keep it fun, keep it, keep the opportunities to grow in front of you and just do your thing and give yourself permission to take a break. That's, that's really my advice in a nutshell on how to keep from burning out in business. Hopefully you got a lot of this video. I really love doing these videos for you. I wanna make sure you get what you need, so make sure you're posting your questions below here so that I know what to produce for you so you get the most value. Make sure you're checking the links below this video. There's a lot of content out there. I have a podcast that's over three years old. I got stuff on Facebook. Check out the links below. That way you can find out what else we got going on. And make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm telling you, we're bringing the heat and you don't wanna miss it.